Happening now, the nationwide movement protesting police is marching through central Florida. Right now, two big rallies are going on. A sit-in demanding action on gun control, plus a march traveling through one of the busiest roads in town. We start with Valerie Boyd, live in Sanford, where a Black Lives Matter rally is underway. Val, what's going on there? Or a whole bunch of arrests. Either way, it's going to get really interesting, Stephen. Yeah, things could be changing soon, but Mike, what you've seen so far today, has it remained relatively peaceful like it looks now? Peaceful and loud, both at the same time. 83 degrees. Looks like as we get into the next several days, though, Stephen, our chance for rain will start to bump back up. I'll have much more on that coming up in weather. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, the Donald Trump veep stakes. Who will the presumptive Republican nominee pick for his number two? We're just a week away from the convention, who our political analyst says are on the top of the list. Plus, Pokemon Go frenzy. Why this hot smartphone app is landing some users in trouble. The News Edge at 6, coming right back. Tom Johnson joining us now to discuss what is definitely a phenomenon. You've probably seen it on your social media wall all weekend long. This is big deal for many people. Explain the Pokemon Go phenomenon. Well, stay off your phones when you're driving. Uh, just be careful when you're using this app and just uh, have fun, but be safe while you're doing it. Yeah, it's one of those things, Stephen, that you can really become immersed in very quickly right. and kind of lose touch with the reality of what's going on around you. So you do have to be very careful. Political expert Frank Torres joins us now to break down the top four most likely names for Trump's VP. Still ahead, police calling it a disgusting act. A man accused of sneaking into dressing rooms and violating women. What police say this man did when the news edge at six comes right back. From Fox 35 News, this is the News Edge at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephen Houck. A brush fire burning right now in Orange County. We begin with this News Edge alert. Take a look at this ring of fire burning in the woods in Biflo. Firefighters say it's a slow moving fire that's now grown to 10 acres. Right now, no homes are in danger. That's the good news. But crews are on the scene doing everything they can to keep the flame from spreading. We'll keep Sky Fox overhead and bring you the very latest throughout the hour. For now, reporting live at the Orange County Jail, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. Holly, thanks. News alert. More changes coming to your I-4 commute. This is a look at the I-4 ultimate construction camera at the 408 interchange. Always a fun place this time of day, of course. And believe it or not, your drive home is actually about to get a little more complicated. Fox 35's Mike Sinan out along I-4 in Maitland now with more on the changes coming to that busy stretch of highway. Mike, what changes can we expect? A 21 mile project is costing $2.3 billion. It won't be finished until 2021. However, Caitlin joins us now to talk about how you can get alerts to your phone to help you with your commute. So some good news for drivers, right? Yeah, that's right. If you want to avoid a headache on your commute, the I4 Ultimate project has something for you. So just go to i4ultimate.com and then you'll see over here on the right hand side, stay informed on the go. Just click there and you can sign up for construction alerts. Look at our forecast now with Glenn Richards. Another day of just absolutely toasty July heat. Mm -hmm. Very hot out there, Stephen. It looks like temperatures well above uh, normal in the 90s, but we're back into the mid, even some upper 90s today, and then you factor the humidity. Marking one month since the Pulse tragedy on social media. Take a look here. Orlando police tweeted these pictures today. You see Chief Mina there showing off this new Pulse Memorial vehicle that OPD will use. They say it's not ready for the road yet, but they thought it was a good day for a little sneak peek of the new vehicle that they have there. Then look at Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer's Twitter account. He simply tweets, we will never forget. Very simple there, but very powerful. The mayor also posted this poignant picture of himself at the Pulse nightclub, kneeling down next to some candles. Fred Smith has had a rough life, and he blames himself for making a lot of mistakes. He makes money by mowing lawns and saved up enough to buy some new equipment, but he won't have to spend a penny. Take a look at this GoFundMe page. The neighbors that he works with are big fans of him. They helped him raise more than $3,000, you can see there, of a $10,000 goal. Because of that, the story is going viral. Fox's Aaron Mesmer has the story. How would you describe what it was like? The average person like myself cannot even fathom what was going on in the hallways, in the surgery rooms. How would you describe those hours after the shooting and even those first few days? Well, it was, it was really unreal. Uh, we have trained for years. 
Call it Christmas in July. You still have time to take advantage of Amazon Prime Day. The online retailer pushing out some huge deals for members. Caitlin is here now with some of the hot buys and what she's been purchasing for coworkers all day, right? <laughs> That's right. I got you a present. Yes. Um, so this is actually one of the, the biggest trending deals of the day. It's the Fire Tablet. It's for Fox 35 News tonight, right after the All-Star Game. Stephen? Thank you for joining us for the News Edge at 6. We hope you have a fantastic night. Enjoy the All-Star Game on Fox 35. We're joined now by Daryl Nail, live in Brevard County with the very latest on the investigation. Daryl, what light did these 911 calls shed on the investigation? And it's really larger than life, right, as far as the vehicles you get on, the actual characters, the creatures. It, it's massive. You truly just become part of the environment, right? It is. You know, this is the first time we used to have confrontation here at Universal Studios. Joined now by Peter Brown with the Quinnipiac University poll and Mark Mills, our analyst here to break this all down. Peter, I want to start with you. What do you make of this 11 point shift in just three weeks, giving Trump the lead over Clinton? What happened is that you had a series of events that Breaking news now out of Lake County tonight. The mayor of Tavares has been arrested. Caitlin, what can you tell us? I know you've been watching this. Yeah, this is just coming into the newsroom right now. So what we know is that Tavares Mayor Robert Wolf. Was Take a look at this. How is this for a way of building community relations? Check out this Sanford police officer dancing with a girl in her neighborhood. They're adorable. Definitely a nice positive sight to see in light of other news involving cops in other communities around the nation. You're watching the News Edge at 6. Things have fallen to pieces between Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris, and now we know what drove them apart. Guess what? It's about a song. Shocking. TMZ producer Gary Trock live in Hollywood with the story. Gary, I'm guessing Taylor will write another song about this situation, right? Possibly, yes. It's a very good possibility. So it's all over the song. This is what you came for. Uh, big smash hit with Calvin Harris and Rihanna, Rihanna right now. Uh, what nobody knew is that Taylor Swift... An update now on the breaking news we brought you yesterday right here on the News Edge at 6. The mayor of Tavares has now been suspended. Governor Rick Scott has booted Robert Wool from office one day after his arrest. Dana Jay live on the story tonight. Dana, what have you learned? Well, Stephen, as you know, the mayor has... Dozens of people killed in France after a truck crashes into a crowd there. Caitlin, what are you learning as this is breaking as we speak? Yeah, so this is just in. Fox News is reporting at least 30 dead. Welcome back to the News Edge at 6. Let's get back to that breaking news out of Nice, France. 30 people are dead, 100 hurt after a large truck drives into a crowd of people. The situation getting more troubling. We want to show you the situation live video there out of France. Brady wrote on Facebook Friday he will no longer try to appeal. His first regular season game will be October 9th. And you know what? I'm so happy this is all Thank you. over. That's the big question. Can we put Deflake God. behind us for the first time in, it seems like, 17 years? Forever this has been happening. Yeah. It's done now. He's out for four games. It's over. No U.S. Supreme Court. Let's play some football. Let's he can move wait on. For four games. Football. Thank you, sir. Still ahead, they say a Rolling Stone gathers no moss, but this is one that's gathering something else. We'll tell you about the latest addition to the Jagger family when the News Edge at 6 returns. County Sheriff's Office is investigating and we're going to talk to that woman tonight at 10. All right, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you for joining us tonight for the News Edge at 6. For news 24-7, head to our website, fox35orlando.com. Have a great night.